Hi everyone. Very nice to see all of you here. Uh, my name is Cecilia Ovlind and I work as a communicator here at Karolinska Institute. Uh, and many of you have been to these seminars before, but, but there are some new people. So just let me very shortly present uh, Komher, the organizer of this seminar series. Um, uh, Komher <coughs> is an EU project with the aim to improve the communication to the general public about EU-funded research. Uh, and it's, it's not um, a regular EU project, it's a supporting, uh, uh, coordinating and support action. Uh, so so it aims to support rather than to come to results. Uh, and it runs for three years and it ends <laughs> in September this year, so we're coming to the end. And uh, it has a total of nine partners in six European countries uh, and is coordinated from the Communication and uh, Public Relations Office here at Karolinska Institute. Um, and how we support the uh, increased communication to the general public, that, that is done in several ways and at several levels. Uh, but I can just give you a few tips on upcoming events. Um, perhaps you uh, know about ESSOF, European <laughs> Science Open Forum. Someone here doesn't know what ESSOF is? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's... Um, um, it, open forum where you get where uh, researchers communicators and uh, media people uh, gather and uh, mingle and uh, present and talk and discuss and it it uh, goes on uh, in June 21st to 26th um, this year and it happens every second year uh, and it's it's a, a European um, thing there's an American uh, similar thing that's called AAAS uh, that is uh, arranged uh, every year. This is arranged every second year. So this year it's arranged in Copenhagen. And uh, come here, uh, we'll have uh, several sessions arranged uh, at the end of this year. Um, they are listed here. Uh, there is one on triumphs and blunders in health research communication where there will be discussions on um, uh, successful communication, but also communication that perhaps didn't go that well, and and um, hopefully a lot of discussions discussions there. Um, we also uh, arranged a session on the power limitations and future of genetic profiling and cancer prevention, mm -hmm. and uh, Per Hall from Karolinska Institute is one of the um, participating researchers on that session, uh, and. There is another session on the danger of new infections, what can be done to reduce the risks. But th these are the things that come here uh, arranged, but uh, there are lots of other very interesting uh, uh, things about communication and also about uh, research results in Europe. Can you add something or? Yeah. No. <laughs> um, so there is someone that has been to ESOP? Yeah, someone here has been to ESOP? <coughs> Anna? <laughs> Wally? What, what do you think? Can you recommend it? Yeah. I, the in Dublin was absolutely wonderful. It was great. In, in which way was it great? It was just exciting being among scientists and um, there were great topics. And just the atmosphere there is very special. Mm. I was smiling constantly for five days. <laughs> <laughs> so. Really you should have a look at the website and perhaps you, you should also uh, go. Um, and Come Here is also arranging a policy event. Uh, uh, an European Research Forum uh, for policymakers. Um, and it's about healthy aging research about healthy aging. It's in Brussels on September the 3rd. So, and the, and the, the uh, target audience here is policymakers in Europe. So perhaps it's not, uh, you won't go on this, but it's interesting for you to know that we arrange these kind of things. 
Um, but maybe this thing is more interesting for you. It's a uh, come near here a network meeting. It's the third network meeting that we arrange. Uh, we had one in Paris and one in, in Berlin earlier. And this one is in Brussels the day after the policy event uh, on uh, September 4th. And, and here are some of the, this is preliminary um, uh, program, but, but uh, just to give you a glimpse of what, what uh, the day offers. Uh, how to write a communications plan for your project, if you work in an EU project, that might be interesting. Social media in science, that is actually Maria Sjögren from um, here at Karolinska Institute, the two will talk, and she, she gave this uh, lecture earlier in our seminar series, so, so if you were there, then you've heard it already. Um, and how to communicate with uh, your key stakeholders uh, will be one presentation, and, and we will also, we also plan to have a session on how not to present science to the general public. It's about presentation techniques. Um, <clears throat> So, and this is uh, examples of uh, things that uh, we, hey, welcome, um, are arranging. And, and uh, this uh, seminar series is also a part of uh, us trying to, to help uh, research to get better um, communicated to the general public. And, and uh, here we invite especially people who work in EU research projects. Um, to provide practical tips and advice. And today we have Malin Attefall, um, the science reporter uh, and the editor of Swedish television's weekly magazine, Vetenskapens Värld. And she will talk to us about the work in the media newsroom um, and hopefully give us an understanding of how that work goes and how, how, how um, we as communicators or um, working in research projects can um, uh, get a better understanding of uh, what are the conditions. conditions. Thank you. <laughs> so I leave the floor to Malin.